Hi everyone, today's topic is going to be called Mistaken Identity. I stole this title kind of, yeah, I stole it from my church. <laughs> Let me just say that. It's going to be called Mi Mistaken Identity. But compared to something that has nothing to do with your identity, your integrity, or who you are as a person. That's when we call that mistaken identity. Some things that I had to defend because, of course, I have children. They need to know that their mother's integrity is still intact. And, and sometimes I just let some things go because they don't even deserve my attention. About 2013, the end of 2013, I had a bad breakup with someone that I was dating for almost three years. And... Um, there was a lot that was said about me, and I didn't get the chance to actually defend myself or say anything. Up to now, I just never said anything about it. But we broke up because the guy wanted to have children without marriage, and uh, he thought that I should wait for him to go have kids outside and then come back later if I'm still single to marry me. So I thought about that. I said, okay, that's an insult. We broke up. And after that breakup, I heard a lot of things that would say that I tried to stop the guy that was so insecure, like me, so insecure. That's, <laughs> whew, that's not me. But they say I was so insecure, and that was the reason why we broke up. I tried to stop the guy. There was a lot of things that were said. And some people were even happy that I broke up, that he broke up with me, that I'm crazy, that I tried to stop, stop him. But the main thing that happened is that we broke up with someone that said that he wasn't ready to get married. And less than three months later, he find another person that he got engaged to is about to marry. Nobody is saying that, but he only focused on Rosine being a crazy person trying to stab a guy. I never had a said about it. I never talk about it. Yes, when you are mistaken, it does hurt. Because sometimes people don't give you a chance to say what it is that you have to say. The I've heard so much things that were said about me, including divorcing a guy so that I can take his money and took the kids from him or me being a 40 something year old woman and acting like I'm a, a little girl so that I can date people younger than me so that I can pay guys to sleep with me. I've heard the worst about me and the worst is that it's coming from my own people, people that are supposed to be my own people. People that are sitting there and hearing all the people say things about me that they know is not correct, but they, do ne they never defend me. And of course today, those are the same people that are talking about me being white or trying to move my kids into the white neighborhood, trying to act like I'm not African. Well, if you know me, you need to look at me twice to know that I'm African because there's nothing about me that say otherwise except African. Look at my page on Facebook, Instagram, whatever. You see all African written all over it. I don't even need to prove myself to anyone. I've always known that since I was young that I don't know I don't need to prove myself to anyone. My self-esteem has nothing to do with anyone else. So the way I handle the mistaken identity is to delete those people that do not belong in my life. If you keep coming here with something that someone said about me, that you heard about me, or things like that, I'm going to block you first because you are the person that is trying to mess up with my sanity. I'm trying to keep my sanity here. I'm trying to keep my peace. I'm trying to protect what God has given me or then for me and my children. So you are not going to come back here and use your tongue as a way to kill me and my peace and my joy that comes from God. I'm just going to block you. And if you want those people that no matter what I said, you just never listen. You don't have the patience to listen. You're always going to bring back what it is that you heard from other people to punish me with. You are not my friends. You got to go. So I've learned to cut people off my life. If I heard about it, I'll say, I'll forgive you. I pray for you. And I move on. I see you on the road. I say, hey, how are you? Bye. God bless you. That's it. But other than that, I'm pretty good with, I'm pretty content with being by myself. If there's something that most people know about me is that I like to have my alone time, my peace time. You can give me all the money in the world. You can give me all the houses. If peace does not come with it, Rosine is not part of it. So it's including friendship. If you want nice friendship uh, does not bring me peace, honey, you got to go. That's just how I deal with mistaken identity. Now, the question is, how do you deal with mistaken identity? 